I probably shouldn't be putting myself on the internet while I look like this, but I don't care because you guys are about to see my new YouTube video intro. It is perfect. So please enjoy. I love it. <laughs> It has been raining and miserable for the whole of July here in Ireland. It feels a little bit like October and I can't lie, there's a tiny part of me that's like fighting the urge to fully get in the autumnal mood, but it's just, it's too early for that. So, hi. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. I hope you are excited for a new Introvert Diaries. I have been traveling a little bit the whole of June, pretty much, and I've got a few weeks at home now. Earl's at the door, hold on. Would you like to come in? Come on. Hi. So yes, I've got a couple of weeks at home at the moment and I was just in Mallorca and I had the most relaxing time. I didn't do any filming or anything. I just totally chilled out. So now I'm just really excited to get back to filming. I'm in the mood for a little bit of a reset. I love being at home and it's really nice to kind of like spruce up my place a little bit and feel good. So yeah, join me this week. I've missed you guys so much. Tomorrow I'm going for a night away with La roche Bose. We are going to Gleason's Lake House and it looks incredible so it's about an hour an hour and a bit away from me so it's really exciting it'll be a really nice night away i always get really nervous about like um trips like this with brands only because like i just don't know who's going and i'm i'm scared it's like always so out of my comfort zone but you guys know i really advocate for trying to push yourself even when something's scary sometimes it turns out to be the most fun or like the best choice so yeah i'm nervous but it's such an amazing opportunity so i'm excited to do that for now it is a very miserable wet summer's day and i'm gonna clean my bathroom because it's a need of a bit of a tidy up and i'm feeling like having a nice big shower after cleaning up my room so got myself some flowers yesterday very pretty let's go get some cleaning done love ya Pick me up I've been down on the ground for so long My mouth shut I've been too scared to start calling out for you bathroom cleanup was a success part one of my little reset week is going so well i love 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 doing a deep clean in my bathroom because i love doing my skincare and like having big showers and stuff it's just so nice when your bathroom is lovely and clean and now i get to have a shower i'm really happy my bathroom is looking very cute i got rid of some old outdated products as well and then i've put some things in a bag that i've been given that i can give to friends and family or anybody that wants them feeling super happy because my bathroom is so clean I'm going to do a good clean of my room on Thursday. So hopefully by the end of the week, I'll have a nice clean space. But why don't we get freshened up? So 
So I went shopping the other day with my mom and I got to go to the bookshop at my favorite place in the world, Sauston and Green. I thought I would show you what I got. First of all, woman in the bookshop gave me a really nice tote bag, which was super cute. So the first book I got was this one. I have never seen this in my bookshop before. So the minute I saw it, I was like, you have to be mine. It is called Colors of Film, The Story of Cinema in 50 Palettes. So it's this beautiful book that is about color palettes throughout the history of film and why they were important or the significance of them. Obviously so many beautiful and iconic films in here. Colour and colour theory is something that really interests me when I studied it in secondary school for art. I just watched Singing in the Rain last night and I just landed on its page because the whole time I was thinking like the colour in this is incredible. So yeah, this is what it looks like. I think it's super cute. If you have a film lover in your life, maybe that's a good gift for them. But I got it for myself because <laughs> I couldn't wait. I then got the most of Nora Ephron. So Nora Ephron was a screenwriter, novelist and director. She's probably most known for the film When Harry Met Sally. She writes obviously rom-coms really really well and Harry Met Sally is a very well written romantic film so I thought this would be really nice. I think it's like a collection of essays and just kind of discussions that she wrote. So that would be just something I get to pick up every now and again and I can have a little read of a certain chapter or a certain essay. I then go got these little pencils for myself because I just thought they were the cutest things in the world. Can you see? They are literary pencils for all your writing adventures is what it says in the back here. They're literally just pencils and then they've got quotes from certain books. So you've got The Three Musketeers, Little Women, Pride and Prejudice, Moby Dick, Frankenstein, all that kind of stuff. But I just thought they were really pretty and cute. And mostly I picked them up because of these other things I also picked up. So when I went on my holidays last week, I was just feeling like really motivated to, I think, do more for myself. Um, when I got home for my like mental health and just looking after me mentally a little bit better I am so happy at the moment and I'm in a really really good place And I think I need to like keep going on that momentum So I need to bring back in habits into my life that I kind of lost in my last year of college Because I was just so busy and all over the place and one of those things is more writing and journaling I'm such an incredible overthinker like I think so many introverts are every time I write down like a silly overthinking thought that I have have. It's kind of like saying it out loud you realize how ridiculous it is and that there's no point really worrying about that So I love writing for that purpose. So I got myself a new journal It's pink and it's so cute So I'm gonna write in the morning every morning for the next month and I'll see how I get on But yeah, got myself a new journal for that I think sometimes when you're trying to motivate yourself to do something or get back into a habit If it's working out or walking, maybe get yourself a new pair of running shoes or new leggings Or if it's something like this where it's journaling, just get yourself some nice new pens I got these pens, these pretty pink ones to match my pink journal And I also got these pretty pink ones because I saw these actually at the cash desk after I picked up the others and I really liked them. Yeah, so that's them there. And then I got this blue one because I actually have this already and it's run out and I really like riding with this one. So yeah, that's everything I got myself, including these flowers the other day. I'm just feeling really inspired at the moment and I want to kind of, I want to run with that like momentum and excitement I have at the moment. So yeah, I'm going to be journaling a lot, lot more at the moment, which I'm looking forward to. So I'm gonna put this beside my bed with one of my new pens so that first thing in the morning tomorrow, I will write in it. Anyway, that's what I got. I'm wearing the cutest strawberry t-shirt and I'm home, but I'm in a bit of a rush, but I wanted to tell you guys what we're about to do. I'm going with my mom to the hairdresser because she is cutting her hair short and going gray. And it's like the biggest change ever. My mom has had the same hair my whole life. So I'm so, so excited for her. So yeah, 
Take my hands, close your eyes, now feel. Hello everyone. It is a little bit later on today and my mom got her hair cut this morning. It was such an exciting day. It might not look like a major change to some people but my mom and I have been talking for like the last two years. I've been encouraging my mom to like just embrace the grey and don't let people tell you that you're too young to do it or whatever. If you were done with dyeing your hair then let it go and she did and I think she looks so beautiful. Watching my mom do that today was just, first of all, inspiring and then just really exciting. I was so happy for her and I don't think I've ever seen somebody so beautiful before. So I was over the moon for her and we just spent a day together and with family showing them my mom's new hair, which is really fun. But my mom had one or two other appointments. So I got left alone shopping, which is not not a good idea because I kind of went a little crazy in TK Maxx. You guys saw this week I gave my bathroom a really good clean and it just needed it and I feel like I haven't given my bathroom like a lot of love in a while. You guys always see me like getting new little bits for my bedroom and everything but my bathroom I tend to ignore. This is the bathroom that I share with my brother so he just has to put up with the girly products that I have everywhere and there's a few paintings hanging but I thought I'd get some new ones that are like my kind of style because when the space that I film in is like feels me and feels really good I film more which is really nice and encouraging so it's been really nice even this week with my bathroom looking much fresher and nicer to like film a bit so I thought I would show you guys some bits that I picked up I also did quite a big Amazon haul because I had lots of things like hard drives and a new tripod and all that kind of stuff to pick up which is kind of not very exciting but I also also got a bath tray you know those things that you put across the bath and I hope that's in here because I would really love to possibly have a bath tonight I'm going to show you the first thing I got this is from Softer and Green and I've seen this like little illustration before and it's just so pretty and cute I thought I could hang that up in here and then I went to TK Maxx and I went a little bit crazy with more prints but I just couldn't quite pick which ones to get this one here which is like oranges and blue and I love it so much it was also on offer and um, I got all of these because even if they don't work in here or I don't use them I'd really like them in my room or a future place whichever I then got this one here which is so pretty I love orange pink blue green I just love it all I really love it all. I feel like in the last few years I've really come into like color and it's been so nice because for so long I was like, no, color is not classy, but who gives a damn? I love it. And then I got this. It's just a big print that says love you. I'm gonna try to put them up in here because I've got two that could go here and one that could go over there. I then got some new towels. I thought these would be really cute because they kind of match my bath mat that's on the floor. But these are blue and green towels. I wear fake tan and my mom loves white towels, but my fake tan does not love the white towels. It kind of actually ruins the white towels. So I thought I would get some towels that are fun and pretty, but also a little bit more practical. Okay, so the bath table did not come in that order or that delivery, so it's probably gonna come tomorrow. But yeah, I'm gonna try hang up these prints now and see what they look like. I'm gonna have a good shower because I just feel like I need it. And yeah, I feel a little bit like out of the groove with YouTube. I'm really enjoying um, TikTok at the moment and doing things in like shorter formats. So I just get a little bit nervous on here that like, I got really lucky this week and went to an incredible event, which was so, so cool. And so far from ordinary most of the time it's literally just me in my room <laughs> not doing much um so yeah let me know what you guys want to see from me because i feel like i'm so boring <laughs> but yes 
Let me get this space nice and judged up. I'm excited. I love these two together. I think they're so pretty. This one, I'm not quite sure what to do with. I might hang him somewhere else. For now, it's sitting there. And then just here, we have this beauty. I think it's so pretty and I love it. But yeah, feeling really good about my bathroom upgrade. My bedroom is not looking too good at the moment because I've just got a corner full of clean clothes on the floor that I don't want to put in my wardrobe because it's so messy. So that's gonna be tomorrow's task. And I feel like we're gonna end the week really strong if I get that done. It's gonna be really nice. <sighs> but I'm actually so tired right now. I've been so excited and happy for my mom all day that I'm now like seriously socially drained. Up until this evening, I've been socializing with people every day and that's so fine and I love it. Please do not take that in the wrong way. I don't know whether it's an introvert thing. I think it is, but I get really, really, tired after like bouts of socializing. I just really need like rest and like solitude and like alone time. I just feel like I need a little bit more time to recuperate and like reset. I feel a little bit chaotic when I'm like this. So I'm gonna go hop in the shower, wash this makeup off and just kind of take a breather this evening. Chill in my own company. It's gonna be really nice. Love ya. There is no place I'd rather be than right here next to you. And I truly love to talk about your lovers, old and new. You never spare me details as you confide in me. I smile and give advice but cannot tell you how I feel how easy it would be to fall for you but that of course is something I won't do Cause we've agreed between you and me We're nothing more than friends How silly it would be to put this friendship to an end 